Captain Ripoff, and today we are going to be making a color combination lock. If you didn't know, um, color combination locks can be a good way to secure vaults and other things. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get some basic redstone supplies. So I'm going to get a piston, and I'm going to put two down here. Then, next, I'm going to go up about three or four blocks. One, two, three, four. Then, I'm going to put pistons pushing the blocks, or pushing, or facing this way. Then, I'm going to go out about two blocks. Then, I'm going to go up here. Then, I'm going to have uh, two pistons facing down. These blocks here will just place where we'll squat. Then I'm going to place, well then I'm going to go back down, and I'm going to place pistons aligned, so that way they should push back to those pistons. And then what we're going to do, is we are going to hook these up, like this, to a redstone signal, and then we are going to fill this side of the blocks in. Don't put a block in the corner, otherwise this will not work. So, there should not be a block in that corner, that corner, or well that corner. But you do need a block in that corner. Once you've done that, you're going to want to have a absorber here. Then you're going to place a block with, a, with two redstone. And you're going to place another block. Then you're going to have a block. Face, or then you're going to have an absorber here with three redstone, like that. Then we're going to have an absorber with two blocks, and then two redstone. To set up the actual output, we're going to use a cauldron. So first, what we're going to do, is we're going to get a cauldron and a water bucket. Then we have to choose a spot to put the cauldron. I am going to put my cauldron here. You will not be able to see the cauldron. Then, we need to have a block here, and then a redstone can pay a little. Or, yes, like that. And then we're gonna have a redstone repeater right there. So, so that way we get a full strength output. So you can hook that into anything that you want. And if I hit this button, as you see, or as you see, it should come back around. Um, but right here we had an issue because this didn't have a long enough pulse, or didn't wait long enough. So I'm going to extend it. Instead of, in, well, instead of extending it, what we can do is we can take this and make it a short output in, with one of two ways. Instead of using a, um, a more a shortened pulse, which we can get several ways. I'm just going to use a absorber because those are a lot easier to get short outputs out of. So I'm going to place an absorber there with a block there. Then we're going to place two redstone and then three more on the back so both pistons get power. And then one redstone there. And as you see, well, it should work. So if I do this, uh, as you see, it went around twice, and that was an issue. So instead of using a button, we are going to use a level. So when I pull it, it goes around, and when I let go, it goes around. And as you can see, when it gets back around to there, you're going to get a redstone, redstone output. So the next thing we're going to want to do for the color on this is we're going to want to take any colored blocks, as long as they aren't gravity blocks. So I'm going to take some wool, but you can also use concrete. So I'm going to get white, red, brown, black, pink, uh, magenta, purple, blue, um, and then let's do uh, lime. So I'm going to place those in any combination. And I didn't use all of them, but that's okay. And I'm going to get rid of magenta because it's close enough to purple that someone might confuse it. So now I'm going to place the blocks here. 
and then you want to cover up the cold room. And as you can see, um, when blue is right there, then you will get a redstone output. And then you can even move the level on top. Um, but be careful, don't remove that block, because I just did, and as you saw, um, and as you saw, the leadstone popped off, and that was not good. So, I'm gonna fix that. So, leave the roof, but you can place anything to light it up, well, this area up. So, I'm gonna just place down a torch. Like this, so it's lit up. Then, I'm gonna place down some wool blocks so I can stand on it. And, if I hooked this up to a door, we'll just make a quick 2x2 two two door. We'll leave them a 1x1. One one. It really doesn't matter what we're using it for. But, as you can see, the combination lock should work. So I'm gonna run this output out. I'm gonna run it around. So go like that. Oops, I broke this in. So I'm gonna place let's down there and there and there all around. And then we have this just in there with the leads on top. So right now it's it should be Right now, as you can see, it wasn't really useful because obviously it was um, it was not connected. So if it's any other color than blue, this will be uh, closed. But when it goes back around to blue, so when it goes back around to blue, as you can see, the door unlocked. So we have a fully functioning. Um, we have a fully functioning color combination lock. And you can put multiple of these together so that way you can have multiple color c combination locks. As you can see, we made a fully functioning um, color combination lock. And until next time, um, bye.